if any of you I suppose until we've been here again even perhaps wondering where the memory of justice kind of insisting coming back and back and back I don't even know really which one you are isn't the question of being afraid of something or being in various ways suspicious of whatever it is that does seem to come here. But seeing people out the window, looking at this kind of light, this fading pink, this fading blue, the trees towering up above this snow, I couldn't really be confident that something should so necessarily be wrong always. Is it just a question of whether, let's say, it was right or wrong? Always that kind of retrospective analysis or judgment. I suppose very Obviously, a question, therefore, of does the snow <laughs> do what it's supposed to do? I couldn't really see that you cared for me. That was always my dilemma. That makes you familiar on the instant. It's really that kind of sense you have that um, you can assume who, who I am, that you always did feel that way, that I was supposed to feel this or that, or had necessarily to know what you were meaning this time. Yeah, but people do have ideas, like you said. That doesn't mean others have to agree with them. If I took your hand, if you took my hand, you'd have a rather abstract situation of substance. Do you think this thinking has anything to do with anything? Never that I was able to appreciate, like they say also. One or another. Two girls run by. One in green coat, one in blue. One with red scarf with blue stripes, one with white scarf with blue stripes. They're gone. You're not the same person forever. But sometimes I am. My impatience was frankly the boredom that this kind of insistence inevitably created in me. I can't live without an actual place to live. I can remember you in different ways. I can remember, for example, the time I met you, or at least that you, you are, let's call you Christine for the moment. That time, for example, I met you in that peculiarly dense small town in Wales, just after the war. Your sister, a telephone operator. You had such a a lovely vulnerability. I loved you. 